Good morning, it's Phoenix and Maury. Um, So yeah, I'm kind of taking my time a bit getting this little one to school this morning. I wanted to get my video blog out. Um, it's Friday, January 6th. Um, you can see what I was saying about this crazy energy. And you remember that person who was like, oh, you know, trying to say you're teaching witchcraft. And I said, you just wait and see. You're going to figure out who the witches are, right? So at the end of the day, this, this, this little... Thing they thought was so funny right this little tit for tat if she says something we're gonna say the opposite and all that where has it gotten people not very far and it's embarrassing as a black woman and see now people understand i embrace my culture my blackness however you want to say it but within reason i still live in the united states there's still this very very inept part of me that knows and has enough common sense when not to keep creating problems. Remember I said sore loser, and I meant that about the Democratic Party. Raising a Democratic household, but I don't like how this party is acting right now. And who is at the head? A black guy, which makes it more embarrassing. And who is he inviting to the White House? Nicki Minaj and Birdman and all that, right? And now they know this is not about me saying, oh, they all some thugs and they don't know how to act or never act and all that. No, that's not true. Because at some point I actually complimented T.I. and he said, okay, we, we lost. You know, we got to just wait and see. That's why I said he's smarter than Obama. Obama has gotten so cocky and putting all this PR crap out, pop culture king and all that. And they think it's cool, right? But a lot of the black folks that have sense like me is stepping back going, this looks absolutely embarrassing and watch how it's going to play out and so when i just said it i said it again i said look at him inviting jay-z and beyonce again to his party you know so you have this pop culture imagery now you have these four black young youths right this is where i'm speaking about having that independent mind remember what i was telling people before even though i was raised democratic i still stepped back to hear what was being said what were the policies like do you really like Obama's policies in some arenas? A lot of people didn't. A lot of people that didn't want to vote for Trump just didn't vote at all. That had nothing to do with anybody being uneducated. It's one of those things where you go, ugh. And then when they try to spin that, oh, not voting is like a vote for Trump. You can kiss my whole entire ASS on that one. Not voting was me not wanting to endorse or put my stamp on anybody and just seeing how things play out and then dealing with whoever got elected. Now it is what it is. Trump got elected. Finally, some black folks realized what that meant to me was, look, at the end of the day, the man won. It's just like a basketball game, right? I'm like, at the end of the game, uh, game, because that's what this is really looking like, right? Trump won. So now what do you do with that? That's really the kind of mentality a lot of people should have developed. And I get it. It's freaking people out because of some of the folks that he's nominated and all that. But just like with Obama, who I think is racist, I'm going to be blunt with people. You, if, if you want to say Trump is racist, now you have to say Obama is racist because you have these four youths jumping this boy saying F Trump and, you know, this Obama and all this kind of stuff. Right. So it's ironic because it's like, this is what you created. So I'm looking at this all playing out. And trust me, I listen to rap music. So this is not about saying, you know, anything poorly. It's, again, that lack of ability to separate politics from that whole pop culture thing. And somebody said it even with the NFL. Anytime pop culture has gotten involved in something, it hasn't gone well. Well, that's turned out to be a true statement. Now, does that mean they hate pop culture? No, it's just saying it has its own place, I guess is the best way to say it. Nothing has gone right since you involved too many pop culture figures, celebrities in things. So now when I dress Janelle Monet, I actually like her music. However, when you have this attitude like we're going to defend Obama's legacy, what? that's why I said it's not like an Oscar, sweeties. Okay, this is a president that should have been acting more like a president and chose not to. And now his influence has plummeted. And now all people see is his America, since somebody's already tried to school you guys that he had a little bit of a messiah complex and his vision when his vision didn't get met, he started stirring the pot. Well, all that's happening is his influence keeps falling further, further down. And now they get to look at America and say, now this is this is the stuff that's being created with this whole racial divide. And the sad part is when black some black people don't realize that they themselves are racist. That's what I was trying to school some of you on. When you are color when you are a racist as a black, you know better than the Trump supporters. So wake up and start thinking for yourselves. Take care.